I think one of the reasons Raul is so driven is probably because of our family background. I was born in Mexicali, Mexico, raised in the Coachella Valley, Palm Springs area. When they first came here, my mother was a housekeeper, my father was a gardener. About 15, 20 years into us living in the U.S., my parents ended up opening up the first business, and it was kind of like a small tiendita where people could actually go and find stuff from Mexico, music specifically. That's how I started getting introduced into kind of the world of music and TV. And he was actually the first one in our whole family history to ever go to college. You always kind of dream of what you want to do, where you want to be. And for me, it was either sports, baseball, or the entertainment industry. In 1981, when Fernando broke the major leagues, you know, I wanted to be Fernando. <laughs> and he played baseball for College of the Desert in Palm Desert. And he really wanted to be a, a major league player. He did get injured. Unfortunately, I, I broke my back at the age of 20. A year prior to me transferring to USC, that's when it happened. It, it kind of derailed me somewhat. After graduating from college, I basically said, hey, I want to have a, a career in entertainment. In, in LA, I kind of reached out to every TV station and radio station out there. I was very lucky. I, I stumbled into one individual at uh, Univision at, here at KMEX Channel 34. And uh, he walked up very confidently early in the morning and uh, sat down at the reception saying that he wanted to meet with our sales manager to talk about a um, potential new job. Before I was going to lunch, I noticed he was still sitting there and now a little bit uh, disheartened. So I took him into my office and we had a chance to sit down. I told him at the time, I said, look, it's a great industry to be in, but the only position we have available right now is a position working for a guy who's not the easiest guy in the company to work with, and I wouldn't recommend my worst enemy to work for him. Two weeks later, he shows up in the office, knocks on my door and says, hey, Eddie, remember that job you told me not to take? I took it. Raul always sees every opportunity as a gift, every experience as something very rewarding, something that he can learn from, whether it's a good experience or a bad experience. Raul took on a very unique role when he moved to the San Francisco Bay Area in taking over not just the television division for us, but our radio properties up there. So that is very unique in our industry, especially in a major market as such. Raul came into a market that was struggling a little bit, and his infectious smile, his charisma, and his passion for the community, I think are really what has allowed us to excel in that marketplace ever since his arrival. Well, I think because uh, we grew up in a mostly Spanish-speaking home, I think it's always been very important for him to stay connected to the Latino culture. His kids actually play in a mariachi band. So I think for our family, it's very important to keep our, our traditions strong. And so I think that's one of the reasons maybe he loves working in Spanish TV. We, we definitely have a connection with our viewers. And, you know, that's one of the reasons that I choose to work for Univision. You know, we like to say that we empower, we inform, and we entertain our audiences, and we really do. Uh, I think there's no other broadcast network that does what we do. And then on the radio side, also entertaining and reaching our audiences through music, uh, which is a passion point. I would say Raul's biggest influence have been his parents. His father obviously continues to be. His uh, mother passed away several years ago, but I know that she was always a very strong influence in his life and he always talked about her. And again, I believe that family-centric drive has always been with him and has continued into his new family. They've raised a, a wonderful family and I think that that's continued on. Really talk about living the American dream from two immigrant parents, uh, you know, all children came to USC. Uh, my youngest ended up going to Ivy League institution in New York, Columbia as well. And it all started here. Very grateful and appreciative to this university and, and to the USC Latino Alumni Association. You know, I, I think uh, in this lifetime, I think I want to be able to make a difference. No regrets and, and just doing the best that we can for each other. Yeah.